everyone, it's me, Diamond, from Happy Mail from the Heart, and I have a Rama Sale haul. Um, Allie had Safety Town today. Safety Town is for the kids age 4, 5, and 6, they bring them to this place that's kind of set up like a city, and they let them walk around it, and they learn how to like cross the road, <laughs> dial 911, don't get on a boat without a life jacket, don't talk to strangers, they memorize their phone numbers, they do a bunch of stuff for safety. Well anyways, so on the way back from that, we found a rum and sale, and of course, you know, I had me and mom had to stop because we usually never drive past them, and uh, I'm really glad we stopped because I had, they had tons of boy clothes, so I kind of got a bunch, I think kind of, I got a lot of boy clothes for Bubba and some other little goodies for him but I figured I'd show you guys because it was a really good deal so and lots of turtle stuff he's big in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles obviously if you haven't watched but um I got him this it's the Minecraft themed superhero shirt I paid a quarter for that and this one was free because it's got like this sticker mark. Somebody washed it with the sticker still on, so it melted. But my kid, with him running around and we go up north and do a bunch of like outdoorsy stuff, that is no problem. I like free. This shirt, my husband is a huge, huge Superman fan. He wears Superman shirts. He has Superman pajama bottoms. He's got Superman hats. Superman boxers, his wedding band is Superman, he's got Superman decal on his truck. We are in the process of getting a Superman felt for our pool table because we have a 9 foot pool table in our basement. Um, he's got a super, I believe he has a Superman pool stick. Anyways, regardless, he is just completely 100% Superman. I like Batman. So you can see where that comes as a bit of a conflict. But I saw this shirt and it says always be yourself unless you can be Batman then always be Batman he's not gonna be too happy but I'm gonna stick Bubba in this once in my life get beat by my husband no I'm just kidding he does not beat me <laughs> but um really bad and then, and then um have him just be like really mad and make Bubba take it off because he will he'll be like get that off and all this stuff we did my son, after my son kind of got out of that baby phase and was in that in-between, like, toddler phase, we did Bubba's room all in Superman. We had the wall painted blue, and we had the red streak going across, and we had the symbol with um, a big um, L in it for Lakota. So, but yeah, he was very Superman when he was little. And now it's Jake and Neverland Pirates and a little bit of superheroes. So, and I got this Raphael. No, not much turtles. Superheroes, but he's big enough. Superheroes, but like all these shirts I got him were like 25 cents to 50 cents a piece. It was my type of sale that I enjoy the most. That's a Roman sale that wants to get rid of their stuff quickly. Yep, they just don't want to store it for winter. Yeah. It really bugs me. Like, okay, so. My opinion on kids' clothes. I will buy my kids new stuff for like birthdays, Christmases, back to school. I let them pick out a few things, you know, because I'm not a harsh person. But in my opinion, I paid a dollar for this. When it comes to kids' clothes, they outgrow them so quick. What's the point in dropping $20 on a t shirt? excuse me, that they're going to grow out of in like a month. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Especially Riley. Riley is four months old and she's in three to six month clothing, okay? So when I hit ramen sales that have like cheap clothes, I stock up. Riley has like three bins just chuck filled with baby clothes for her to grow into. Allie has one. What? Allie has one bin filled with clothes and long sleeves, pants, because I hit a rummage sale last year that had brand new pants, all with tags on it, for like a buck a piece, so I bought those. But, um, when I go to rummage sale, I went to a rummage sale a couple weeks ago that had like onesies and little dresses and a bunch of cute little stuff, and um, she had four dollars on plain onesies, and I was like, 
Yeah, are you are you serious? She's, she's like, well, my kid only wore it a few times. Well, that would make sense because your baby is less than a year old, and they go through their stuff so quick. She's it's not. It's not, why would you buy, like, a onesie for, like, $25 for your kid to go grow it in a couple, like, less than a month? I just don't understand people that do that. Like, yeah, nice, new is nice and everything, but you're going to be stuck with all these baby clothes because you want to get prices that you paid for, or close to what you paid for, and you're not going to get it. I just don't understand yeah, people who understand that. Sales, she's had that sale eight times this summer. And a lot of our stuff is still there. I went back on a Sunday afternoon when, like, you know, you get bored and you just want all the crap gone. And I told her, I was like, I will pay you half. I'll give you a dollar for these onesies, which is even a little more than what I normally would pay for. But, you know, they were in nice condition and everything. But I just, she was like, no, I want the three dollars. And I was like, okay, well, I'll come back at the end of summer when you're just tired and you have fill a bag for a dollar. Or fill a bag for five bucks. And then I'll stock up because yeah, yeah, she every time I drive I drive past her place whenever I come to my mom's and she has everything still maybe like a few things missing but not a lot gone. I, Ten dollars on a used baby tub. Yeah, she had one of those baby tubs. Turtle stuff that I got here for Bob, and this is blue Leonardo. That's his favorite turtle, so that's pretty sweet. But uh, she had one of those plastic baby tubs that you stick that you use for baby. Um, and she had like 10, she had 15 on it originally, and then she marked it down to 10. I bought Riley's tub off a ramen sale site for $5, and she never used it for her baby. Oh, I got another Batman shirt for him. Yeah. Some of this stuff is really big, but I'm just going to stick it away because it's 25 cents. So. Nice yeah, and organized, pretty. yeah. I'm organized again. Oh, also. My little man is into that Lego movie. Everything was or Lego movie with like Emmett and all of them. Oh, look at that. So I couldn't pass this up. I also bought him a sword at Walmart. I forgot. Yeah, we shirt. bought him a pirate sword because he didn't have a pirate sword and it was on the clearance rack. Oh yeah, these are the pants that go with it. He kind of likes that Lego movie. He watches it a lot. He's upset. Yeah. And I got him just some plain Jane jammies. But all this stuff was like 25 cents to a quarter piece. Some of the sweaters were 25 cents to like 75 cents. So I know some of them, like I said, some of them are big because he's in a four, five, six right now, and some of these are seven eights. So, so even if he doesn't fit them until next year, I still got plenty. Yeah, room. Yeah, I do. And I already got him his swim trunks for next year. A pair. I buy my kids like four pairs of swimsuits, so then. Just in case they're not clean, I can at least get them prepared. No, no, no. Look at me. What? What you I have like my arm just chuck filled with clothes. And lady walked over. She's like, "Do you want me to put some of this down?" And I was like, "Yeah, that'd be great." She's like, "Do you have a turtle pan on your hands?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> so. Also. My ever there's this app called Pokemon Go. If you live in the 21st century and you don't live under a rock, you've probably heard of it by now. Um, so Pokemon Go is this big thing. My husband and I we go for walks with the kids and it's and blah blah blah. Anyways, Allie has started to like it a lot. She plays it on her tablet. What I'm scared is that she's gonna drop her tablet. Yes, my six-year-old has a tablet. She's had it for a while, and she has limited time on it, and we monitor it. But regardless, I don't really need to explain it. Um, so she plays on her tablet. I was terrified that she was going to drop it and shatter the screen or somebody else, because her uncle also uses her tablet. So my one of my good friends, probably one of my best friends, bought her a Game Boy for her birthday and bought her Pokemon uh, Yellow which is just a game that you put into the uh, the Game Boy and she's been playing it for a while. But anyway, so she's starting to get more into Pokemon, which is kind of cool because I was a big Pokemon kid when I was little. So, at the rummage sale, we found some Pokemon shirts. This one's This one's Bubba's. It's his nightgown. Yeah. And then, this one is Allison. 
So what's hers look like? Well, I like hers cool. They're so, both cool. They're both kind of big, but it doesn't matter. They'll probably wear them as jammies. Yep, I'm gonna say they're Nana jammies. So. I think it's cool wearing big shirts at Nana's or something. I don't understand. Taylor shirts. They were Nikons at my house. We have a boy named Jordy Nelson. And um, mm -hmm. he's a babe. I love him. He, last year, he, in a preseason game, he tore his ACL. And he was out all year. All season. And it really, just was really? awful. But if you've ever seen a pair of Michael Jordan shoes, there's the the picture of him like like jumping with the basketball that he's holding. Well, Jordy Nelson copied it and it's called an Air Jordy now because this <laughs> is one of the things he did when we won the Super Bowl that year was like a, this is kind of what he did. So this is actually mine. And there's another one in here that'll fit I Bubba too. I bought you a shirt. Yes. Oh. Okay. So. I bought everything except ten dollars worth. Yep. Or no. I gave you ten dollars. And this is a green yeah. hoodie with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on the back. Uh, sorry. But like I said, lots of turtle. Whoever lived here was obviously a big turtle fan. Oh yeah. Which is fine by me. And these have a top to them. Really, Bradley? Really? Just saying over there. I had a lot of good rum sales this summer for Boy. Yeah. Not so much for Allie. But that's all right. She didn't really need anything. She didn't hit a growth spurt. I mean, she got a little bit taller, but I bought all those jeans last year at a rum and sale, and I stocked up on jeans for her. So. Yes. Find it as you take it as you get it. That's what I do. And I love Mama's Tales. I was raised on Mama's Tales clothes. If I wanted something new, I remember one year I wanted these pair of Nikes for school. And mom, they were like, they were really expensive. They were like $220. And mom was like, no, I will give you the amount that I would pay for a pair of shoes for school. You have to cover the rest. Which I thought was fair, you know, whatever. So I worked and worked and worked because I had a job. And I went to go buy them. And they were on sale. They were like $20 cheaper. And then I decided to wait. And I kept waiting. And I kept waiting. And I kept waiting. And finally, they went from $220 down to $65. And I had mom buy them regardless. And I kept my money to myself. So, but like mom's theory was, I like that this one's Christmassy. Because I love putting my kids in Christmas shirts and taking funny pictures. But um, mom's theory was, is, you know, we didn't we had we didn't have a lot of money when I was younger, but like and her theory was what's wrong with spending? You can get more for your money at a rummage sale and just wash it if it's in good condition versus getting like three items for twenty five dollars versus getting like twenty items for twenty five dollars. What about your Chucky Taylors? Yep. I which ones? I have a lot of them. Your Christmas Chucky e. Taylors. For, I used to wear Chuck Taylors when I was a kid. Those are like Converse with the stars on the side. For Christmas one year, my parents got me a pair of custom Chuck Taylors. And they had the Chicago City skyline on the side. Because I love the city of Chicago. I think it's super pretty. They had my name in the stars. And they look so cool. I never find my name on anything. Yep. They were so cool, and I went to a concert. I've been to a lot of concerts in my time, and um, I was crowd surfing, and the shoe, somebody hit my heel and pulled up, and the shoe fell off and went flying, and I never found it again. Only had them, yep, only had them for like two weeks, and... Yeah. Never saw him again. She was supposed to get them from that man that comes down the chimney, but I gave him to her earlier. Yep. So she this one's wear them to the concert and look what happened. I lost it. And I don't we don't even understand, understand why somebody would take it. Like, what was the point of taking one shoe? Yeah, keep it. This is all the, uh, um, not the Avengers, the Justice League symbols, except for I think Wonder Woman. There's Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, and Flash. Oh, I think my hubby's here. Or Tim. This is Cheryl. Oh, and I bought a shirt for myself again. 
I've got a few things for myself. I really like this. It's either for myself or Leah. I haven't made up my mind. But yeah, I'm trying to teach because Leah's. Oh, it's Tim. Leah's in that age where, um, you know, she likes the mall and she wants to spend a bunch of money there. And we went. Game day. Yeah, we went Game back day. to school to shopping. Another Batman thing that I'm probably not going to have be able to put on my son because my husband. Some yoga bottoms. It's got sparkly sequin inside. But, um, Leah last year, we went to go shopping. She likes us. She used to like a store called Justice in the Mall. And she wanted to get, like, this shirt and these the skirt and all these cute little things. Except there was, like, $75 for, like, four things. And I was like, Leah, are you sure you really want this? I was like, we can buy one outfit for you, brand new, and you can take the rest and go. We'll hit some great Roman sales, or we'll go to Plato's Closet, and you can get super nice things for super cheap. And she was like, I don't know, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I promise you, I will find you a bunch of cute stuff at a Roman sale. I can do it. And she's like, all right. So then we hit some Roman sales, and of course I found a bunch of adorable things for her. So... But now this year, she was like, yeah, let's go hit some rabbit sales. Just some black solid leggings. So yeah. so she learned there's nothing wrong with that. Also, in the sit great state of Wisconsin, <coughs> we have been known to have snow on Halloween. And last year, Allie tore open her snow pants in between the legs in that area. And I could not, in the middle of January, and I could not find a pair of snow pants to fit her so I had to like get her the pair that she had the previous year which were a size 45 so they were a little bit too short on her so this year I found four pairs of snow pants that are in her size and I bought another pair today because my kids are rough so I got a pair of black snow pants for her you what because we outside playing all the time. Yep. Also, snow boots are expensive up here, of course, because, you know, we need them for winter, so they're going to be like 50 bucks. So I got Bubba his snow boots for the winter. So now all I got to do is get Allie a pair. Yep, these were only, no, these were a dollar. But still, cheap for a pair of snow boots. And they're really nice and thick ones. I believe these are actually from Fleet Farm. Fleet Farm is like, um, it's a sporting goods no, store farm. it's a farm store oh, it's a weird it's store a it's a it's a midwestern store they sell stuff for farms stuff for hunting stuff for interior paints clothes it's kind of like cabela's if you have a cabela's and you know what that is obviously it's like a cabela's but it's more private local it's just a midwestern thing so i don't know i think the further south um, Fleet Farm we have is like in Missouri, and no. I think that's right on the border of Missouri and Wisconsin, or Missouri and Indi or Illinois. Yeah, there is, because I remember they were opening one when I worked there. Oh. So, but that's like the furthest south we have, so if you're not from the area, that's what it is. But anyways, we got a pair of snow boots for Allie one year when she was like three, and those were $65, but they were on sale for 20 so we bought them. And they were like good for like negative 50 degree weather, which is what we get up here. Last year, it dropped down to like negative 60 with wind chill. It gets really cold up here. Canada like swoops into Wisconsin and it's like freezing. Of course, we don't have school. That gets canceled. And everything just is canceled for the day. So, but that was my Roman Sale haul. As you can see, my ginormous pile over here. And I got some good deals. I also got Allie's back to school stuff, which is really sweet. I bought all that at Dollar Tree. I figured I wasn't going to haul it because why haul school supplies? It's just your basic stuff. I only paid $17 for everything, though, so that was a nice little save there. But that's all I got for you. So I guess check us out on Facebook. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Go Packers tonight. I don't get to watch the game because I have to work in a couple of hours. I'm just going to be checking it on my phone because we're going to be absolutely dead. This city shuts down when a Packer game hits. Like, yeah. It's the best time to go grocery shopping is when a Packer game is on because it'll be dead. The whole store. The whole city. whole city. Except for around Lambeau Field. Yep. Which, <laughs> oh crap. I'm going to have to leave early. 
You are leaving early. I am leaving home. early because I gotta pay mom's internet bill anyway. So, so that's all I got for you guys. So check us out on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel. See you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.